All right, here we go. Our last Fins and Feathers trip of the year. We're headed to Missouri. We've got the Pelicans all loaded down. Little Aberdeen and little Lula. They're around the corner over there, but they're coming with me. So Abby's family's actually from Missouri. And so we're gonna go out there. I'm gonna go with their clients and do a little whitetail hunting. And they're gonna go visit some fam and then hopefully we can get tagged out and these guys could all get tagged out. We're gonna go meet up with them, so let's do it. Alright guys, we made it to St. Louis. I just uh, said goodbye to the fam, headed over to the rental car place. Got my Kia Soul, <laughs> rocking in style out here in Missouri, baby. And I got about a three hour drive to the lodge, so I'm gonna head out there, go meet up with uh, Kevin, my boy Casey, meet these clients and say hi to everyone and get out in the morning. So uh, it's gonna be a late night, I don't think I'm gonna get there till about 11 p.m., but um, we'll get a few hours of sleep. It's game time, baby. Let's go. Alright guys, morning one here in Missouri. Nice and early. Got a little bit of sleep last night. For breakfast, I'm just going some Mountain Ops ammo. Got that thing all mixed up. Definitely gonna bring some these. So I'm probably gonna do an all day sit. Gonna grab some snacks and stuff. I think we have about 20 minutes before we're supposed to take off. So um, I'm gonna finish getting stuff ready and then it's time to hit the woods. Things gonna come in now, but um, very productive day. Did all day sit. Saw six bucks, and three of them were right there. 
Hopefully not kicking myself in the ass at the end of this trip for not shooting, but we'll see. I'm gonna slowly start creeping out of here and uh, maybe just see if I can come across something. If not, I'm gonna meet up with David and get the heck out of here. It's time to go grub. My butt's numb from sitting all day. <laughs> All right, guys, I just hit a doe. Um, happened really quick. I unfortunately didn't get it on film. Dang it. Um, she came in behind me and I had a quick second before she stepped in some really thick stuff. So I made it happen. Um, I've had a, a doe tag in my pocket for the last few days and I've been just kind of holding out. Today's my last day. My father-in-law, who lives here in Missouri, hasn't been able to go out much the last couple years to, to hunt. So he hasn't had venison for a while. So I told him if I saw a doe towards this last day, um, and had an opportunity, I'd, I'd get it for him. I'm gonna keep one of the hindquarters as well, do a little flip-flop action um, on our annual boys duck hunt. The boys trip we do, we did that, la was that, that was last year, and it was unbelievable on one of my blacktail bucks. But um, I just walked up there, left my hat on a branch. There's tons of blood over there. Hopefully she's not too far. 
Um, we're gonna get Kevin's dog in here and let it do a little training and, and do a little work on, on blood tracking. So um, I'm just sitting here waiting for him. Hopefully, like I said, she's not too far in there and we'll have some fresh back straps for uh, old Roy. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna sit here and he should be here any second, so uh, stay tuned. Hey, Dave, <laughs> you ready? Let's go find her. You don't look like. Yeah. I got Jake back here, we'll see. We got some fresh back straps. Let's go take a look. Oh. Had to strip down because it's 90 degrees here in Missouri. In November. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. We should be golfing, not hunting. I know. Oh, good. There she is. Cat the weeds. Nice man. fat doe. Mm -hmm. All right. We got our work cut out for us, boys. All right, guys, that's a wrap here in Missouri for me. Was able to get that doe. Did not have a shooter buck come in. Saw tons of bucks all week. Just nothing of that age class I was looking for. It's all good. We got meat in the freezer. I got plenty of elk from this year and really just being out here and, and helping David and seeing him on his very first big game hunt ever. But man, awesome time. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. This place is unbelievable. We are going to be booking spots here for muzzleloader next year in December uh, for anyone that wants to come along. There are some really big bucks that hit the ground uh, this week. I think one of them was just shy of 170. Um, with broken tines. Uh, one of them was like a 160, just shy of 162, and a handful of 140s and 30s. So, a um, lot of bucks. I mean, this is one of the highest concentrations of big bucks that I've ever seen. Going through trail cameras with Kevin, I'm just like mind blown. So, it's a special place, and I'm very thankful to be able to come out here and hunt. You know, just living my dream with fins and feathers. So, um, now I'm going to pack up. I'm going to go get that doe all quartered up and uh, head about three hours south of here to go meet up with Abby and her family and go bring that meat to her father. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, I absolutely love doing these videos for you guys. Sorry there hasn't been uh, a ton lately. Just like I said, life's been pretty crazy. So I'm just trying to eat these out anytime I can. So uh, thanks again for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next one later. Mm -hmm.